WUSA 9 News at 5 begins right now with breaking news. A verdict has been reached in the trial of Jason Lewis. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Simone D'Alba. And I'm Larry Miller. That decision was handed down in the past two hours. Lewis was charged with shooting and killing 13 year old Karan Blake. The jury found Lewis guilty on a handful of charges, including voluntary manslaughter and assault with a dangerous weapon. He was also found guilty on firearms possession charges. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz has been closely following this case. Rafa, can you explain for us this sentence? Yeah, Larry, let's walk you through how we got to this moment. It was several hours of deliberation over two days. And as you mentioned, that jury determined that uh, Jason Lewis is guilty of manslaughter while armed. This carries a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison here in the District of Columbia. But they also determined that he is not guilty of the harsher penalty, which is uh, a murder, a second degree murder. So basically what the jury determined is they refuted his stance that he acted in self-defense. So let's walk you through what Jason Lewis claimed throughout the trial. His defense presented that he was defending himself during that January 7th incident. But he said that when he walked out of his home, he saw a man or someone pointing a gun towards him and shooting him at him, which prompted him to fire the first out of three shots. The other two shots were the ones that eventually struck and killed 13 year old Karan Blake. So this is an ongoing case only because now we're waiting for the sentencing, which according to the D.C. court website is scheduled for October 25th. And just the last five minutes, the U.S. Attorney's Office provided us a full update of this case, and they're telling us that Lewis right now is facing 45 years behind prison. We'll have more of the timeline of events leading to this moment because this was a case that obviously got a lot of attention and a lot led to a lot of vitriol comments on social media targeting Jason Lewis, but also 13 year old Karam Blake. We'll have more coming up at six. To your point, Raphael, this certainly invoked a lot of emotion from the community with strong opinions on both sides of this. But to your point here, we now have the verdict and we will get the sentencing later at a sentencing hearing that will take place at another date and time. Thank you so much.